In 2009, 25-year-old Larry Ely Mario Moncada of Council Bluffs went missing whilst working for a supermarket in Iowa. Ten years later, a badly decomposed body was found by workmen between a gap of about 18 inches, 45 centimeters, between the 12 feet high coolers and a wall. Larry had been trapped and died there and supermarket shoppers would have smelt his body purifying for weeks as they bought their groceries. A weird accident or something more bizarre from the no-frills supermarket in Council Bluffs, Iowa? The body of a male was discovered in January 2019 when workers were removing shelves from an abandoned no-frills supermarket in Council Bluffs. It appeared the corpse had been there for several years. The store had closed in 2016. The body was so badly decomposed that he was not positively identified until July 2019, six months after it was found. Numerous former shoppers said they could always smell something terrible when they were inside the store. The Iowa State Crime Lab identified the body as that of Larry Ely Mario Moncada. Investigators said they believed that Mario Moncada, who worked at the store, climbed on top of the coolers in late November 2009 and fell into a gap of about 18 inches, 45 centimeters, between the 12 feet high coolers and a wall. He was trapped and died there and passers-by in the supermarket had walked by him, collecting items from the coolers for seven years. Mario Moncada was reported missing the day after Thanksgiving in 2009 after he left his parents' house barefoot after an argument, during a blizzard, while suffering hallucinations. He left behind his keys and car. He failed to return home and was never heard from again. His mother said through a translator in 2009 that, he was hearing voices that said, eat sugar, he felt his heart was beating too hard and thought if he ate sugar, his heart would not beat so hard. The blue clothing found on his body in January matched the description provided by his parents. Former employees of the store said that it was common for workers to rest on top of coolers, where the supermarket would store goods. Police said that an autopsy found no signs of trauma, there was no evidence of foul play and that the case had been closed as an accidental death. The store was less than a mile from where Larry lived. Investigator Sergeant Brandon Danielson said, you don't hear about these types of cases, like, people found in walls, especially in this area. We have missing persons all the time, but this is just unique. Sergeant Danielson was assigned the original missing persons case back in 2009. Danielson said that Larry's mother had long suspected that he may have been in the store when he went missing. The mother, she kind of had an idea that he had never left the no-frills. The authorities said Larry had fallen in the gap between the wall and the coolers and it was accidental death. Did he immediately die? It seems strange that he was not able to call for help with shoppers so close by. Investigator Sergeant Brandon Danielson said noise from the coolers probably muffled his cries for help but is this feasible? They would need to be very loud coolers. If it was death by dehydration, it would have taken several days.